Hello everybody, I'm Thomas. Um, some people might remember me from the hackathon two years ago where I present the EBI RDF platform, right? And as a side project, I'm going to try to help Simon to push some updates to the EBI RDF platform during this week, right? <laughs> but my main project uh, or proposal for this hackathon is human readable RDF validation. So, why are we talking about RDF validation? Um, the main point of RDF is that it's very flexible, it's the open world assumption. So that's why it makes it easy to integrate new data, you can put everything in there. However, as it turned out, it is useful to sometimes validate data. So you want to validate data against a certain schema, right? And you can do that with your custom Spark queries, but the more formal approach is via shapes. And we have like two standards, Shex and Shekel, that we kind of they kind of emerged over the years right now. So just an example for Shax and Shackle, we can see a triple. Um, the thing is a user, the thing Alice has a name Alice, and it has a birth date, which is a certain date. So how could we validate this triple? Um, on the left side, we have the Shax example. Looks familiar, pretty easy. The user has a name, a birthday date. And on the right side, there's the Shackle example, which basically tells us the same. It's actually a little bit more concrete because it defines a minimum and a maximum count and says we need exactly one name. So um, just a small example for what Shacks and Shackle look like. What do I mean by human readable? Uh, or why was I inspired to use the term human readable? That has nothing to do with the semantic web. There's something called behavior-driven development and what is, this is about is that you can define a structure for, text, for test cases through text and keywords. So the example here on the left side is we have a scenario and it basically says, given a certain situation, when I do something, then something should happen, right? And you define in behavior-driven development with Gherkin and Cucumber these kind of test cases, these user stories, and it creates you then test cases um, that you can see on the right side with the keywords that are in, in green. And the developer has then to fill in the actual test case, so that just defines the structure. But this is where I got inspired for my proposal because I think it should be possible to do something similar for Shackle or Shacks for RDF validation because these rules that we saw earlier, this simple rule with the name, actually we can express that with human text, we could say a user shape must follow these constraints. It must have exactly one property with the, of the type string. It must have zero or one property um, birth date, and this has to be a date. And just as the example earlier, I think there are keywords highlighted in green here that we could turn into valid uh, shapes and then validate RDF data like that. Why do I think this is useful? Because it's important to make RDF, Sparkle, Shackle accessible for users, right? You guys, most of you, you know Sparkle, so you have maybe no problem with the syntax of Shacks or Shackle, but the people you actually talk to, um, well, that's often a different story, isn't it? And that's what I want to work on. And if you want to join my proposal and help me work on that, please talk to me. Thank you.